Do you ever have those days where you get these huge tangles in your hair and you're not sure how to get them out without ripping your hair out? Hey guys, it's Sarah from The Style Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to detangle your hair without causing any breakage and how to prevent tangles in the first place. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to remove this awful tangle from my hair. Can you see this knotted, matted mess? It's horrible and I hate it. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this tangle, and then secondly, I'll show you how to prevent tangles in the future. Okay, step number one is you want to isolate the tangle. So this is the main tangle in my hair. I've kind of tried to pull the pieces away from it that aren't actually tangled into the mess. So if you can just isolate this one piece and pull the rest of your hair out of the way, Okay, so if your hair has more than one area of knotted tangles, I usually try to work with the biggest section first, and then I'll move to the smaller tangled areas after that. First, you always want to start with dry hair. Don't start with wet hair. Hair is more prone to breakage when it's wet. So what you need for this portion is sort of a detangling spray, a deep conditioner, a hair oil, something like that. So my three favorite products to use for this portion are my Kenra Blow Dry Spray. So this is basically a detangler and deep conditioner. Secondly, sometimes I steal my daughter's honesty detangling spray. This stuff smells really good. It's all natural and it works really well. And lastly, do you guys remember this famous argan oil that I talked about way back in the day? That video kind of blew up. <laughs> um, I still use this stuff and it's great for putting on these tangles to sort of detangle them. So today I'm going to go ahead and use my argan oil just since I used it in a video so long ago and I just kind of want to use it in another video. <laughs> but any of these options would work. Just going to apply a little dollop here. And I want to rub that in to where it's most tangled. Oh, this stuff smells so good. <laughs> Every time I use it, it smells so good. So I'm kind of pulling it apart as well with my fingers. It's already working, guys. This is awesome. See, look, I was able to take this piece out. This isn't tangled, so I'm going to throw it back. And we're making our knot smaller already, which is awesome. You kind of just want to keep separating and pulling out the pieces that are no longer a part of the tangle. Okay guys, this knot is so much smaller. I hope you can tell. We already got basically all of this out of it, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I barely have any knot left. It's just kind of getting harder for me to separate it with my fingers. So I'm going to grab either my wet brush here, which I'm a super big fan of, or you can grab a wide tooth comb. I used to use the, use the wide tooth comb. Now I use a wet brush. It kind of just depends on your hair. If your hair is really fragile and prone to breakage, I would almost just grab a really wide tooth comb and go in very, very gently or just keep using your fingers. Honestly, this wet brush, I've never had any problems with breakage. I'm very careful with it. Why the wet brush works so well for detangling your hair is because the bristles are really far apart and the bristles are really soft and weak. So if they um, come across a tangle, they kind of just collapse so that it's not ripping your hair out. So I'm a really big fan of this. So I'm going to take my wet brush, start at the very bottom of the hair until you start meeting some resistance. So this part is all detangled down here. I'm gonna go up just a little bit farther with the brush and just gently move up a little bit by little bit until it's detangled. See, beautifully detangled. So we're moving on up a little bit more. See, can you sort of see how there's a tangle in here and these bristles just collapse so that they don't rip the hair. It's really cool. See that? So cool. So I have a little tangle here. So I'm going to try to isolate this. It's a little bitty bitty tangle here. Can you see it? Little bitty one. I'm going to try to separate it with my fingers a little bit more. If you haven't already noticed, the key to this is not to just go in with your brush and just brush it from the your scalp to the ends as hard as you can because it's going to cause all sorts of breakage. You kind of just want to gently detangle. I know sometimes it's hard to be patient, but it's worth it, I promise. So see, with this oil, I just was able to run my fingers through this little piece, and it's all nice and detangled and separated. Run my brush through it. Perfect. Okay, let's move on up this tangle here. Oh, it feels so good. Guys, this piece is completely detangled. Ha! Wonderful! Guys, this makes me so happy. I hate it when my hair is tangled. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my hair down and search for more pieces that are tangled. 
so I don't notice any more huge tangles. I'm gonna start brushing through, just start with the very bottom of my hair here moving up, and if I do encounter a tangle, I'll isolate it and do the same thing. But thank goodness I don't think I have any more huge tangles. Ah, nice and silky and smooth. Guys, there's nothing more satisfying than combing through your hair and having no tangles. That's like my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, let's move to this side. Okay. Oh, my hair smells so good from the argan oil and it's so silky. I'm just in such a happy place right now. This is so relaxing to me. Oh. Okay, now that I've shown you how to detangle a tangle that's already there, and now I'm gonna show you how to prevent tangles from happening in the first place. First off, something that I've discovered just in the past year is that you want to brush your hair before you wash it. So I would have knots in it and then go wash it, and honestly my knots got worse after I washed it, and when it was wet, it was much harder to detangle. So now I just make sure my hair is nice and silky and smooth and brushed before I shampoo and condition my hair. So make sure that you're using a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Um, I like Kendra, it's what I've used for a while. I would just say to get a good conditioner that really moisturizes your hair and use it every single time you wash your hair. Okay, so another tip I have for you guys is to make sure that you put your hair up in a bun or a braid or something if you're gonna go outside in the wind, in a convertible, in a boat, in a golf cart, whatever it is. If your hair is going to be out in the elements, uh, even going to the beach, etc., I would put your hair up in a way that it won't get tangled. So you can sort of just twist it, put it in a low bun, a high bun, a braid, anything. Just make sure that your hair is not just like billowing in the wind and getting super tangled. That is a nightmare to detangle. You can always put your hair in a hat as well. I like to do that when I'm working out outside or going for a walk outside. I kind of put my hair in a low bun and then put a hat on top and that helps a lot. Also, before you go to sleep at night, it's also a good idea, even though I don't always do this because I just like my hair to be down at night, but I try to either put my hair in a low braid or I'll put it in a really loose top knot on top of my head to kind of keep me from rolling around on it and it getting matted in the back of my head. I think that probably has something to do with this tangle back here. So if you can stand it, try to do that. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do right now, I know this is kind of weird, but I'm gonna go wash my hair and come back and show you exactly how I detangle it and keep it from forming these gross knots and everything right after I wash it. And I wanna point out that when you wash your hair, I kind of just like to put the shampoo in and kind of you know, go like this with it, not necessarily take all your hair and like go like this. Does anyone shampoo their hair like that? I hope not because that like makes me cringe, but you kind of just don't want to create more tangles than you have to when you're washing your hair. So I kind of just like to do this. I have my full hair washing routine in a video that I'll link right here and in the description for you guys if you want to see the whole thing from start to finish actually in the shower. But today I'm just going to wash my hair and I'll be right back. So I just took a shower and washed my hair and my makeup is still intact. I tried to touch it up a little bit, but if there's runs, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> okay, so I just washed and conditioned my hair, put it up in this towel on top of my head. Let's take it down and I'll show you what I do to keep it from dangling. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. Okay, I feel like a lion with a mane. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my Kenra blow dry spray here. I'm gonna try to pull up half of my hair. It's not always pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna detangle just like I did earlier, start the ends, work my way up a little bit. If I hit a tangle, I'm gonna isolate it and kind of work my fingers through it and sort of try to detangle it on its own so we don't cause any breakage. <laughs> tangles are out it feels so much better I'm gonna take the top portion down again you can use a wide tooth comb for this I just really enjoy my wet brush all right now I'm just gonna brush through this like I did the bottom portion tip if you have a very sensitive head it helps to kind of hold the hair here so that when you're pulling on it with the brush you know you're not pulling on it like breaking it but just pulling on it gently that it doesn't pull your scalp it's just pulling from your hands 
Okay, it's all detangled and feels so nice. Okay, so I like to blow dry my hair in smaller sections. That kind of helps prevent it all from tangling together as well. Okay, so I pulled my hair halfway up. I split it on each side. So I do about a fourth of my hair at a time. I feel like the lights are gonna flicker when I turn this on. It's so high powered. Nope, we're good. You get the picture. So I'm gonna do the top and show you how I do that part. So you never, ever, ever want to turn your blow dryer on and just sort of go at your hair and make it super tangled. <laughs> that makes me cringe uh, all over my body. I can't even stand that. So I do like to flip over the sides to create more volume. So I'm going to show you how I do that while also protecting my hair. So I like to aim my blow dryer down sort of with the brush so that it kind of seals the cuticle. It doesn't get all rough and it prevents tangles as well. You can use any sort of brush. Sometimes I use a round brush, sometimes a paddle brush. A lot of times I just use my wet brush because that's what's handiest. If you want to see me finish blow drying my hair, if you want to see my entire hair care routine from shampoo, condition, dry, etc., everything, I have a video on that. I will put it right here and I'll link it below in the description. So make sure you check that out. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have a giveaway coming super soon. And thanks for tuning in. See you next time.